session in this video we will go with now what are the approaches for the eulery what are the approaches for the fluid flow behavior to predict what are the approaches for the fluid flow behavior to predict it so that means generally there are two approaches for the fluid flow behavior prediction so that one it is one it is eulerian approach another one is a lagrangian approach there are for to approach for the fluid behavior to predict the approaches to predict the fluid behavior or study of motion of the fluid there are basically two approaches are available so what are the two approaches is one is a eulerian approach the other one is a lagrangian approach in the eulerian approach when we are approaching with the eulerian approach so it is a field approach eulerian approach is a field approach which concentrates which concentrates on fluid particles at a point p which concentrates on the fluid particles at the point p so that concentrates on the fluid particles at a point p whereas when you are going with the lagrangian approach whereas when you are going with the lagrangian approach it concentrates it con it will initially identify some particles or the group of particles in that one and it will start tracing that group of particles and with it will follow with respect to the time and they, that will follow with respect to the time and you can see even fixed point is having a small control volume if you say the fixed point is small control volume that means assume that 1 cm by 1 cm 1 cm cube 1 cm cube when you are considering in that one so the 1 cm cube volume it will fix it and then it will say that yes the particle is allowed to move in this the particle is allowed to move this particular point p right this is how it goes in the eulerian approach but whereas in the lagrangian approach it will say wait i am also coming with respect to the time it will go along with that particular time so there in this eulerian approach the x y z and t all are the variables which are which are where x y z and t with respect to that it is monitoring at a fixed point whereas in the lagrangian approach the point itself is moving with respect to the time right so generally generally when we are going for the fluid flow approach for the easy method easy uh, approach for the easy approach so generally we prefer to go with the eulerian approach now the question comes then what is the use of the lagrangian approach so the lagrangian approach compared to the eulerian approach compared to the eulerian approach the lagrangian approach will become little bit complex on that one because whereas the control volume itself is moving or the point itself is moving with respect to the time so in that case this becomes conversion method whereas the situations whereas situations would be unavoidable where we have to predict at all these points but but now again the second question comes so which case i have to prefer eulerian or whether i have to predict with the eulerian lagrangian in both the cases in both the approaches whether you are going with the eulerian approach whether you are going with the lagrangian approach your result is going to be same your result is going to be same now the next question comes if the result is going to be same then why why i should not use a lagrangian approach why i fix only with the eulerian approach yes so then we will talk about the specific applications related to the eulerian approach when it is a single phase fluid so that means only one fluid is available inside that particular fluid flow then better we go with the eulerian approach when it is when it is more than one fluid is available in that particular case when there is more than one fluid in that particular case then then the eulerian approach will fail to analyze that particular problem so we will go with a lagrangian approach when it is a more than one phase is available in the fluid flow now the question comes what is one phase and two phases whereas the single phase fluid is for example for example if you are talking about the fuel and air mixture if you are talking about the fuel and the air mixture right so whereas the fuel is in the liquid and air is in the uh, whereas the fuel is in the liquid form and air is in the gas form when these two are combining or when these two are combining at in the combustion chamber and they get they get mixed in the combustion chamber by making the fine particles in that one in that case in that case i cannot prefer to go with the eulerian approach in that case i prefer to go with a lagrangian approach i prefer to go with a lagrangian approach so depending upon the problem we have to choose whether i have to approach with the lagrangian approach or either i have to fix with the eulerian approach so in order to see so what exactly this eulerian approach is so here you can see here you can see whereas in the eulerian treatment whereas in the eulerian treatment because the control point is fixed in that one whereas in the lagrangian treatment you just see there is a number of particles are large so that means more number of particles are being taken in the lagrangian approach compared to the eulerian approach so whereas the eulerian it is so 
point and moving with the fluid. So here the number of fluid, number of particles have been considered more in the Lagrangian tree. 